In today's video, I'll answer your question, what does it mean that Paul went to the third heaven? Then afterwards, as always, I'll share some helpful resources, so stick around until the end. Paul describes a time when he was caught up to the third heaven in 2 Corinthians chapter 12, verses 2 through 4. He mentions himself in the third person. I know a man in Christ who 14 years ago was caught up to the third heaven. Whether it was in the body or out of the body, I do not know. God knows. And I know that this man, whether in the body or apart from the body, I do not know, but God knows, was caught up to paradise and heard inexpressible things, things that no one is permitted to tell. The word heavens can be used to refer to different realms. Heavens can refer to the sky and the earth's atmosphere, making it the first heaven. We see this in Deuteronomy chapter 11, verse 11, Psalm chapter 104, verse 12, and Isaiah chapter 55, verse 10. It can also refer to outer space, where the stars and planets are, the second heaven. We see this in Psalm chapter 8, verse 3, and Isaiah chapter 13, verse 10. It can refer to God's dwelling place, which is beyond the other heavens, a place known as the third heaven. We see this in Psalm chapter 33, verses 13 through 14, Isaiah chapter 66, verse 1, Matthew chapter 6, verse 9, Hebrews chapter 7, verse 26, and Revelation chapter 11, verse 19. When Paul says that he went to the third heaven, he means that he went to the place where God dwells. Interestingly, Paul uses the phrase caught up to refer to how he was transported to heaven. It's the same Greek word used in 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, verse 17 to refer to the rapture of the church. Following his list of boasts in 2 Corinthians chapter 11, verses 22 through 33, Paul further verifies his apostolic office by including his visions and revelations from the Lord. 2 Corinthians chapter 12, verse 1. The apostle is unsure whether he was physically in the body or apart from the body when he experienced heaven, 2 Corinthians chapter 12, verses 2 and 3. While there, he heard and saw things that he couldn't describe and was forbidden to relate, verse 4. Some believe this event occurred during Paul's first missionary journey when he was stoned and left for dead in Lystria, but we can't be sure. The privilege of seeing heaven no doubt gave Paul courage to face his later trials and suffering. Christians today may not have seen the third heaven as Paul did. We can be just as confident of our future in heaven because we are in Christ. The Bible does not tell us everything we might like to know about heaven, but we know that it will be a wonderful place where we will dwell with Christ. Paul knew that being with Christ is far better than anything he could experience on earth. Until the day we eternally enter God's presence, we can state with confidence, along with the Apostle Paul, for we live by faith, not by sight. We are confident, I say, and would prefer to be away from the body and at home with the Lord. 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verses 7 and 8. Want to learn more? Subscribe so you don't miss the next video. Visit gotquestions.org for more great content and check out the details section below this video. There you'll find one book I recommend along with several links to related questions. If you'd like to learn about Bible Munch or if you're interested in bite-sized devotionals, subscribe to Bible Munch on YouTube. It's linked right here. Now remember, got questions? The Bible has answers. We'll help you find them.